going to talk about braces. It has now been three weeks since I got my braces on, which makes me practically an expert, although I still have a lot to learn. And I just wanted to share a couple tips with you about the first, getting through the first couple weeks with braces, whether your children are getting braces or you are getting braces. So let's just start. To start off, I suggest that you get a electric toothbrush. I've had this toothbrush for two years. My teeth were very crooked before I got braces, so I found that the manual toothbrushes weren't cleaning quite as well as they should have or as well as I had wanted them to. So I invested in this electric toothbrush. It's the Oral-B, which is by Braun, professional toothbrush. I found it for sale after Boxing Day for $80 on Amazon. And I usually can find the replacement heads also on sale for around $30 for seven of them, I believe. So they're really not that expensive. Next thing that I suggest is a water pick. This one is a cordless one. You fill it with water and then you use it basically as a water flosser. So it will floss your teeth without having to use floss. So I bought this just because it's a lot easier to use than floss, especially when you're first getting used to floss. It can take you a long time to floss your teeth when you have braces. Next, I have the Listerine Zero. I bought this because it was suggested by my orthodontist. I really like the Zero because it doesn't have as much burn as the other stuff. And again, it's really important to be rinsing your mouth and your teeth really well when you have braces to keep your mouth clean and cavity free because you don't want to spend so much money on your teeth and then have them full of cavities or rotting and that kind of stuff because your teeth are harder to clean when you have braces and all the stuff in there. Uh, next we have the Colgate Peroxyl. Now I bought this right when I got the braces. I am kind of thinking it might be a bit scammy but um, it costed the same as the Listerine Zero, which was $6, but it is a much, much smaller bottle. It pretty much seems to be just a hydrogen peroxide rinse. So if you want to forego this um, and get just hydrogen peroxide, that would be, you know, great too. But this is really helpful in the first couple of weeks when you're still getting used to the braces and your braces are kind of cutting up your mouth a little bit and creating all those sores. This helps keep them clean and helps them to heal better. So I definitely suggest that. And you don't use it every day, you just kind of use it. I've used it a couple of times when I've had the really sore spots. So it, it will last a while. And again, with the sore spots, I got chloroseptic. I wasn't sure about getting this. This is actually a sore throat spray for when you're sick and you it, it numbs your throat. But I use this to spray in the inside of my cheeks as well, just for when those spots are really, really sore. I have one spot that the wire actually, um, a bracket rubbed a spot to make a bump, and then the wire rubbed a line straight through and cut through that bump, and it's still not even healed three weeks later. So I found that this was, it was a lifesaver for those first few days when it was really, really sore. And again, this will last a long time. You use a tiny bit of a spray and also multi-use, not just use for your braces. Next is the floss that they will likely give you at the dentist's office. Regular floss just won't cut it. It's not stiff enough. So they have this easy thread floss. One of the ends of it is more of a stiffer plastic so that you can thread it up and through your braces and then be able to get it where the actual floss part is able to floss your teeth. And you do get these from the dentist, but they come in lengths, which is not quite as convenient. You can also use these with regular floss, which are just little loops of plastic, which you thread through, and then you put the floss through the little loop so that you can pull it through your teeth. But those, again, aren't as convenient. And the floss has 50 uses and was $5, so I, I'd rather use that than mess with these ones, to be honest. There's also these little plastic pick things. They have almost like little brush ends on them. These ones are the plastic ones. They're good for when you're out and about for getting the food out of between your braces. I haven't really used them that much, so but they were, I think, $2 for 150 of them. I'm not sure if I'll end up using them all that much, so those I'm not sure if I would suggest. And there's also this little gum flosser. It kind of looks like a little pipe cleaner. 
and that is also for cleaning in between your braces. And the final thing is wax. Uh, this is gum wax. It was given to me by my dentist, but I've also bought four other packs of it. I could not find it at Walmart or Superstore. I could only find it at our local pharmacy for some strange reason. And so I bought all the packs that they had in the first two weeks. So I went on Amazon and you can get them in different scents like strawberry or mint, depending on you know what you like, but I just got normal. My only concern about those are that the Amazon ones seem to be a lot softer, but they do seem to work the same. So I'm going to try and stick with those and see how they work over the coming months. Don't be afraid to use the wax because sometimes you'll need it just at night and sometimes you'll need it during the day as well and it'll change day to day. There's some days where I think that I'm just fine and my mouth is, you know, accepting the braces finally and then later that night I'll notice that my gums are bleeding or my the inside of my lip is bleeding from it rubbing. So in review, there are six things that I do suggest that you get for your braces. Number one is an electric toothbrush. Number two is a water pick. And you can either get the cordless ones or the corded ones. The corded ones are attached to a giant tank that has a cord that kind of loops to it so that you don't have to refill it. This one, you have to refill every time. The Listerine Zero to keep your mouth clean and this one does not burn. The Colgate Peroxyl or some hydrogen peroxide. The Easy Thread Floss. And some Chloroseptin.